Hey, welcome back. I uh, hadn't really planned to go out and do any hiking or photography today, but I look, took a look at the weather forecast and it looks like we're gonna get quite a bit of snow here in the Puget Sound region, especially where I'm at, which is east of Seattle. So I thought I'd better get out and try to take advantage of this gorgeous day. It's like 50 degrees Fahrenheit out here. Um, there's mist in the air. I'm at one of my favorite places I've taken you to before which is I'm up and along the Middle Forks on Kwame River Valley. I think I'm gonna do the Oxbow Loop Trail, which I have a video for, so I'll show that up here now. And then I think I'm gonna go up to Wise Falls too. Uh, it looks like uh, that creek is really running, so it might be a good opportunity to capture another one. So I'm gonna get my boots on here and uh, look forward to having you join me. Oh, man, it is a beautiful day out. There's some high clouds, um, lots of high clouds actually. The sun's poking through. There's a little bit of snow here on the ground, more than at my place and my house. So that gives us some nice fog along the ground here. It's really gorgeous. Uh, other cool things that have happened. See this knitted hat on top of my head that's made by my my partner in life, my wife, Stephanie. I love this hat. It's wool, it's perfect for this sort of getting out in the, in the wilderness. Um, so yeah, it's about a mile from where I park to the trailhead for Wise Falls. So I'm gonna head up there. It's about a 15 minute walk up to Wise. So I am gonna head up on this hike and see if there's anything else these gorgeous trees and everything that are here. Maybe photograph along the way, some woodland stuff. We'll see. Um, if not, I'll see you at Wise Falls in a few minutes. Thanks for coming along. Hey, I've made it here to Lower Wise Falls. Um, I've never actually been here before. It's a little bit of a bushwhack to get here and I'm not finding any place really safe to go down here and try to get a composition. Uh, I'm gonna keep working my way around. The water's up pretty high, so Really, safety is number one. It's gorgeous here, so I'm really glad I came to it. Uh, so, yeah, let's keep trying to find some place uh, a little safer and uh, with a good composition. Hey, I stopped here, um, still down at the lower falls, kind of working my way up it, looking for compositions. And I noticed these mosses I've never seen before down here on the ground. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a series of shots, kind of macro shots. I don't really have a macro lens, so I've tapped my televoto and I've zoomed in. Um, and here I'll show you what that looks like here on the back of my camera. Uh, you can see the mosses here on the back of my camera. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a series of photos at F8. I've got my polarizer on to cut down some of the water. And I think it's just make a gorgeous photo capturing these mosses I've never seen before. If anybody knows what they are, really appreciate it. Maybe you leave a comment below, let me know what they are. And uh, if this turns out any good, here's the photo. Hey folks, I've made it up here. I don't know if this is the middle falls or the upper falls. I see some more further up. Um, I've been here before um, photographing on this ledge that is right down here. Um, hope you can see it. So I'm up a little bit higher. I'm looking up the falls this time. And I've got, I'm standing here on the side of a hill and I'll show you my composition here in a second, explain to you what I'm doing. Um, Anyway, the falls are gorgeous. Um, there's some greenery that's moving a little bit, so I gotta crank up my ISO so I get a little bit faster shutter speed, uh, trying to hold that still. Um, what happens though is that the water's so white that it uh, completely uh, washes that out. So I have to uh, decrease the shutter speed uh, down to one tenth, one fifteenth of a second uh, to kind of get enough uh, movement in the water and get it exposed correctly. So. Um, I'll do a little bit of exposure blending when I get this done um, for the photo. 
show you my composition here on the back of the camera. Um, so this is obviously the waterfall here. There's some ferns in the foreground to make for a nice foreground. Um, there's also a rock ledge right here that I'm capturing on this side of the photo. So yeah, um, before we stood here and took photos down here in the corner and took photos this way. So a little bit different composition. Like I said, I've got it set to um, one quarter second, a little faster, a little slower. Um, got a polarizer on. My histogram is still a little bit to the left, um, but I'm okay with that. I don't think I'm getting any shadows. I can't get back out and recover. And really, it's these ferns that I'm trying to get to hold still here. So let's go take the first photo, which will be at the slower shutter speed. You can see here the white is all washed out. So what I do is I then take that and increase the shutter speed to about a tenth of a second. You see I'm about two stops underexposed. Um, I can take it down to a thirteenth. We'll take that shot. You see here that waterfall when you do that. You get some of the water motion, which is what I'm shooting for in this, some texture in the water, uh, not just a white blur. So I'll take those two, do my best of blending together. It's a little hard with these trees and stuff. Uh, crank this back up so you can see it. It's a little hard with the trees and stuff in the way. Uh, here's the photo, let me know what you think. Hey, I hope you can hear me. I've made it to the other side of Wise Creek, which allowed me to get in a position to photograph the lower fall, something I've never photographed before. Uh, it was, uh, I was down here on this ledge, which you can see, and uh, decided not to uh, whip out the old uh, vlogging camera and take a look at it. But um, here's those photos, uh, much like I did on the upper falls, two sets of exposures, one for the dark areas, polarizer on, uh, and then one at one tenth, one thirteenth, one fifteenth of a second uh, to capture some motion in the water and get it exposed correctly. And I'll show it to you here. Hey folks, I think that's going to be the it for me today. The rain is starting coming down, uh, and as much fun as that is, I am ready to go home and be dry. Uh, I promised everybody a little bit of science on this channel, so let me just do a little bit of geology here real quick. The Middle Fork Snoqualmie River, uh, where I'm at in the wilderness area, is, um, is a lake that formed during the ice ages. So at the mouth of this valley that was formed uh, is where the glacial low from Canada came around and basically blocked up the valley. And so all the water flowed down out of the Cascades 10,000 years ago, uh, at least in this watershed, and filled this valley with water. So if you can imagine, I'm standing at the bottom of a thousand foot, 10,000 year old lake, and that's why that's why the fauna and everything down here are so gorgeous. They're so much different than the rest of the area. There's a lot of clay in the soils. It leads to lots of trees that are not the typical trees of the area. 
Uh, so it really makes for a unique biohabitat right here in King County, Washington. So I really encourage you to come visit. I think that's gonna be it for me for the year or two. Can't believe I started this channel on a whim during the summer, during COVID. I wanna thank all of you that have decided to watch, have decided to follow, leave comments. I just really appreciate it. Hope you're getting out to enjoy some photography. Hope that these uh, journeys of mine are, are useful to you too. Whatever else you'd like to see, just kind of leave in the comments below. With that, I think, like I said, I'm gonna close out. Uh, if you like what you saw today, really appreciate giving me a thumbs up, help feed the algorithm. If you wanna see more of me in 2022, hit the subscribe button and turn that little bell on so you get alerts about new videos. For everybody, happy new year and bye for now. Hey, one last little PSA. As I was bushwhacking my way back to get that last picture of Wise Falls, I came across this uh, Mylar balloon. Congratulations, grad, up in the woods. So that balloon, who knows how far that has traveled. I've only, looks like I only got the top half of it, so there's another half sitting somewhere up in the woods. I love that people celebrate, but I'm gonna tell you right now, do not let these up into the air because they end up down here and they make trash for all of us. So that's my PSA. If you're out hiking, clean up one piece of trash on the trail for everybody else. Hey, everybody. Happy New Year. Bye.